Hey guys, it's Paul with Next Level Media and I am back with another Tuesday's tip. If you missed last week's tip, click on the image below so that you can catch up with us as we continue to dive into Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's jump in. All right guys, we are back inside Adobe Premiere Pro. In our first video, we talked about how to import and also how to do simple editing where we could take out all of our mistakes, camera shakes, anything that you don't want, being able to take all of that out so that all you're left with is a nice clean bit of footage. Our second video, we talked about motion, rotation, and opacity, being able to shrink or grow and move images around the screen so that they're right where you want them to be. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on one of your clips. It doesn't matter. It can be the video, the audio. Let's just go with the audio. All right, you're going to come up here to where it says markers, and this is going to help us mark the beginning and ending of our clip. So we're going to click on that and then click on mark selection. All right, so now you can see that there is a grayed out area that has selected that audio clip that we're going to use but we definitely want more than just that. We want the entire video. So what we're gonna do is click on this area and drag it all the way over to the very beginning. And then we'll do the same. We'll click and we'll drag it all the way to the end, just like that. Now our entire video is selected and ready to be exported. So we're gonna come up here to File, drop down to Export, and then Media. All right. So first thing you can see is down here, there is this timeline indicator. So we can actually select and drag through, making sure that everything is shown in this blue line. This blue line is what's going to be exported. But let's say you have a spot where you are ready, where maybe we don't want this ending. So we're going to bring our indicator back right to where it fades out. And these can control your out points and your in points. So let's say we want to end right there. So all we have to do is simply click on this and then that will shorten the ending. It will actually take it out and not export that at all. But in this case, we want the entire video. So I can click on that and drag that blue line all the way to the end. And now we are ready to export. There's some different kinds of formats that you can do. The H, H.264 is probably the industry standard. So that's what I always export as. But if you click on that, you can actually see there are a lot of, lot of different settings that you can export this, this as. You can do a Blu-ray disc if your footage is gonna be on a Blu-ray. You can come down and you can make a JPEG sequence. So every frame of your video will be its own image. We definitely don't want to do that in this case. Uh, there's also QuickTime. You can do, maybe if you're exporting only an audio, you would want to change it to the waveform audio. So that's the only thing that's exported. But in this case, we're going to want to do the H.264. There are some different settings that you can really get in depth to, but we're just going to, we're just going to skim over those. And then all you simply do is click export and we are exporting that as training two. So that'll take a little bit of time to export, but once you're done with that, you are ready to post your video to the world. All right, guys, thanks for joining me once again on Tuesday's tips. If you have not subscribed yet, make sure to do so below. Also, you can leave me a comment so that I can try to answer your question about what tip you would like to know about Adobe Premiere Pro. We'll see you next week.